Greetings and salutations, YouTube Wanderer. The Lost One Game here, and welcome to Plutocracy. Now, this is a business simulation game where your goal is to become the richest and most influential man or woman in America. This game is currently in early access, so there's a lot of features that aren't yet in here, but I still think it's fun. Um, this music makes me feel like I'm going to do something really great, even though I'm probably going to fail miserably. We're going to go into sandbox mode, because I don't think the campaign is unlocked yet. Um, it's still being worked on. You know, with African American, we're gonna go young because I want my character to be around for a while. And let's see what we can pick up here. That guy had a fro. That fro was magical. <laughs> the magical fro. He, uh, he's bald. This guy will work. But we're going to change our name. Our official name for this Let's Play will be Richard Mills. I don't know why that's the name I picked. I could have gone with something fancier and I usually would have, but. Richard Mills, it's it's whatever. It sounds decent. It sounds like a businessman, right? Richard Mills? Maybe? Maybe not. But uh, recently there was a new update that added in the state of Georgia, as well as uh, different difficulties, because at first you can only play on small fish, but now you can actually play on piranha, which is what I'm probably going to be playing on, because small fish was pretty easy. It started out tough in the beginning, but it got progress Like, towards the end, it was just, it wasn't a competition. So I'm going to play on piranha. With one opponent, because that's all we can play. You can play with one or no opponents, but I'm going to play with one because no opponents wouldn't be fun to me. So we're going to play infinitely, so we have as much time as possible to get to our goal of becoming the richest man in America. Alright, so this is our office, the HQ of this entire operation, if you will. We got our, we've got our advisor over here giving us hints. The game goal is to become the richest. I kind of skipped the first one. This is our office, though. They're telling us about our connections and our financial reports that we can view from here this like i said is the hub of operation we got ourselves a a deer statue that's not really a statue a deer mount and a portrait of ourselves narcissistic much and a nice cozy fireplace but um let's see we can do by purchasing luxurious items and selling them overpriced interesting characters you can increase your loyalty to yourself but the easiest way is to buy company shares which is what i usually do because i don't participate in auctions too much i don't really care about those unless i need them for um, my own games so my opponent is Sophia Harris. It's a woman this time. Usually it's a man, but sometimes you do get a woman. Uh, she's going to start with more influence than me, so she's going to be able to make some deals that I possibly can't make right now. But, let's see. Mercenary. The ability to negotiate to have an effect on a deal price is two times stronger. So she might be able to get some better, like, better deals than me. It's unfortunate. So my opponent's starting out in Illinois. I'm starting out in Georgia. Now, we can move from here, but my goal is going to be to combine both getting a profitable company and something that has a decent market cap. So, let's see. Based on profitability, we've got California Action. I don't particularly like um, oil refinery companies in this game because of the fact that the CPU usually doesn't know how to run them and they end up running them into the ground. Um, so it's kind of hard to really make any money there. Or if you do make money, you start to lose it after a little bit. See, like, my opponent, this is something that I would be interested in, but my opponent will probably be able to make a deal there, but I can't because I don't have enough influence yet. So that kind of sucks. Then the next best option would be another oil refinery, which I don't really want there, so that's not exactly ideal. Hmm. So in the state of Georgia, let's see what we got. 10% profitability, hallelujah. Hmm. And then we've got in Illinois, which is where my opponent is. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I feel like my opponent's gonna go for this company here, Phenomenon, but let's see if, if there's anyone that can be talked to. <laughs> there is. Mrs. Olivia Riviera, which is the only person either of us could talk to. Her stake is worth <laughs> 600000 at least at market price. She's getting 84000 in dividends. So, I mean, the profit margin is dropping, but I mean, if I could make this deal, my opponent's gonna be there first, though, so that's the only thing. So, let, let's... Let's look at New York and Virginia first before I make this deal, or before I try and get over there, because, I mean, hmm, profitability there, Prime Ways is the most profitable with 19 million. Let's see, that 1%, I'm trying to look at, like, 1%, because that's probably all I'd be getting. 100,000 would be, like, so I'd probably get, like, maybe 15,000 in dividends if I was to invest here. Uh, decisions, decisions. <laughs> and then we've got New York. Which, hmm, wizard. Can I talk to anybody here? No, I can't. I was going to say that might be an option too, because that one, that one's going to grow. Transportation stocks are like the easiest ones to run in this game. Even if the CPU runs it into the ground, it still usually makes money. So I feel like I'm going to have to get a ticket to Illinois. We're going to have to see what we can do over there. 
I, how much is it going to cost first before I do this? Because <laughs> I don't really want to spend too much money. So it's going to take me 13 days. Now we're going to see if my opponent is going to is going to stay here if they're going to go somewhere else. It looks like my opponent is staying. So I feel like my opponent is going to buy the exact same company that I'm going to buy into, which is Phenomenon. So let's see. Yep. Already made the deal. Got a 0.16% stake. All right. So I'm going to try and follow suit. The thing is, though, actually, how did their influence increase by that much that quickly? So the one thing that sucks about this right now is that my opponent is going to be able to make more deals in this than I can. Because I can't make any more deals after we get rid of this lady here. I can't make deals anymore. So we're going to see if I can kind of cut in here 13000 Now the thing is I'm going to make less money anyway off this deal. I'm going to make less money anyway because I have something called maintenance costs that my opponent doesn't have to deal with, which kind of sucks. But God, this person wants way too much for this and I can't pay 14% more. So we're going to have to try and be as uninsulting as possible, but I think that's going to ruin everything. Okay, so we just managed to get another round of negotiating. So I give you 5%. I mean, if that'll work. I can't do anything really more than that. I think you're going to want more than that, aren't you? Okay, I can do slightly more. We can do plus 7%. It's going to increase the deal chance, but I don't have that much money. Uh, this is going to both increase by something that I don't have. So technically, I believe what's going to happen is it's just going to go for the highest that I can afford, which this is still, nope, not enough for the deal. I got to make a deal here because I didn't come all this way to get to end up empty handed. OK, I came here to make a deal and I'm going to get a deal out of you, Mrs. Riviera. Maybe I won't because actually now I can't talk to her. Oh God, see I've already started messing up already. So this is kind of unfortunate because I can't talk to that person anymore. So right now I might have to go back to Georgia. <laughs> might have to go back to Georgia. Because I mean, I can't really do anything in Illinois. There's nothing that I'm really that interested in. I think we go to Virginia. Maybe we go to Virginia and we get prime ways. I mean, I think that's a pretty decent option. People there aren't freaking buttholes. <laughs> I, you know, people people in this company, I got a lot of options I can talk to. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go. I just got a freaking ticket to Illinois. Now I got to freaking go to Virginia. So let's let's go to Virginia. I kind of hate that I even went to freaking Illinois in the first place. Should never went. I'm going to regret that decision forever. But there's nothing I can really do now but try and make it up now. My hope is that that company is going to fail, but I doubt it course if my, my opponent invested in it, it's probably gonna be a smart decision all right so we can get decent we can get pretty much the same amount here I mean it's like 10,000 so I mean it's not exactly that bad we're like 3,000 less it's not it's it's okay you know because I mean we would have only gotten what was it 13,000 from the other companies so I think this was okay the deal didn't go through though my negotiating skills are not exactly there yet so we got a number of people we can talk to though but she was probably gonna be the easiest one because she has the lowest of anybody in terms of economics and diplomacy. So let's try and talk to Mr. Howard, even though he's probably going to be the worst person for me to talk to. Let's see what he what he's going to offer us. All right. So the thing that sucks, though, is that I'm going to have to deal with uh, maintenance costs. I don't know if I already mentioned that, um, but my opponent doesn't have to deal with that. So I'm going to be down at like eight thousand while my opponent's going to get the full brunt of or the full force of what they got. Now, I can't exactly make this deal, so my opponent's going to have to understand that uh, I'm going to have to, like, we're going to have to do some type of leniency or something. Yeah, we're going to have to do not 15%. That's all, that's all I can afford. <laughs> and take all my money, Mr. Howard, why don't you? All right, so we're now down to 20. Wait, why am I at, why am I at 5,000? Oh, my maintenance is even more than I thought, and taxes. God, this puts me in an even worse situation than I thought I'd be in. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, this is not good. My opponent is making 10,000 per turn. So my opponent is doubling what I'm making right now. So this isn't good. And my opponent also has a lot more influence than me. This game is turn based. So it kind of takes a while for things to start, or it can take a while for things to start happening. But we are not in a good position to start. <laughs> I wish things could have gone better over in Illinois, but it didn't work out the way that I thought it would. We got these little cut scenes or little loading screens. We got to the quote from Abraham Lincoln, when I do good, I feel good. When I do bad, I feel bad. That is my religion. I don't know if Lincoln ever actually said that, but <laughs> I don't know. So my opponent so far, I guess, hasn't made another deal. So, hmm, 
their, let's see, my opponent's wealth is at 114. So actually, they just did make a deal, so now they're up to 11,000. Um, I feel like, let's see, asset-wise, my opponent has like 10,000. The thing about it is, though, is that my opponent is going to keep trying to buy shares in that company. So, they're not, I don't think they're going to increase too much overall versus me. Like, if I could get, well, I'd have to get 100k to, to do what I was going to get. Oh, boy, this is interesting. Smaller market cap. Let's let's see if we can get in with Mrs. Martin again. If we can at least increase our profit, I was gonna say if we can increase about a thousand, but that doesn't look like it's gonna happen either. Uh, plus one, minus one percent to the overall value. Let's see if Mrs. Martin is gonna accept, and she does. All right, so that's gonna increase our profit by six hundred dollars. I feel so defeated right now because six hundred dollars is not gonna get us jack squat right now. <laughs> it's not gonna do anything for us really. Um, let's see. I, I want to go and check on this company that my opponent invested in. Now. So Phenomenon, it seems like the profitability is dropping, at least for the quarter or the turn. Like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't make a deal anyway, so I tried to get over there, but it, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. But 6.7, I'm hoping that we can go up a little bit, and maybe once eventually, once I get a, a skill, or I get an upgrade, then I can actually cut down on these maintenance costs, and so we, we'll make a little bit more money per turn. But I guess we'll see. All right, so I got offered a deal for my shares in Primeway, but it's less, 7% uh, less than what I paid for them, so there's no reason for me to do that. Now, one thing that I might be able to do is I might be able to sell these shares for more than what they're worth eventually, and then kind of catch up or, you know, uh, to uh, lessen the gap here. Because right now I'm already like 20,000 behind. Which, you know, eventually that could be made up, but right now it's going to be hard for me to do that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, I guess, finish ending the turn here. So right now our tactic is just going to be consisting of just buying more shares in this company right now, as much as we can get with whatever we have. So we're just going to be increasing by like maybe five or six hundred dollars every turn right now, because that's really kind of all we can do. Like I said, I can't go to Illinois uh, to buy any shares, so we kind of got stuck with this. It's not exactly bad it's not the worst case scenario but if i don't end up being able to make a decent profit and try and buy out a company soon my opponent's pretty much just going to be able to do whatever she wants to do and it's not going to be good for me so let's see i want to see if i can make a deal with mr bryant because i failed with uh the other oh god no this i'm not paying that much for these sir you are mistaken if you think that i'm going to do that no i i'm not going to get swindled out of that much money so now we're not going to be making a deal with you either. So let's try and do something with someone that's a little bit less. This is Parker. A little bit less. Interesting. All right, let's see. This might be a, we might have a higher chance here. So I'm going to go a little bit lower just in case we need to negotiate a little bit higher price. So like this, for instance. And I don't think this deal is going to work. Nope, because you can see by based on how slow these go usually whether the deal is going to be successful or not. So that one kind of had no chance. So let's see if we can talk to Mr. Diaz, I gotta make a deal this turn. I need to. God, what the frick just happened? It just randomly went down nine percent. I didn't even do that. I guess that was some random thing that he had going on with his skills. Plus thirty percent would be more than I can afford. I said I didn't want to get swindled out of money either, but I mean I kind of have to make a deal. And if I go any less, he's just gonna laugh in my face. So this is not gonna. Oh wait a minute, it might work. It did work. I spent 6000 so I gave him everything I had. <laughs> we couldn't go as, as high as he wanted, but hey, it's something. So I made a deal, all right? I made a deal. We now have less than half a percent stake in, in Primeway's company right now. So market cap currently, profit margin is 84% and growing. Market cap, we're getting 649000 per turn. Um, my opponents, on the other hand, <laughs> I was hoping that that company would fail. But it's kind of not. It's kind of in the same exact spot. Market cap is growing by like two or three million every turn. So even if my opponent doesn't make a deal, their dividends are growing by like a thousand every single turn. So it's like it's kind of gonna be rough for me. Like I said, it, I wish I could have made a deal there. But even if I had, more than likely the same thing was gonna happen eventually. So let's see. This person wants to buy my shares in Prime Ways, but they're they're not gonna buy the entire stake. So I don't know if this is really worth it for me. Because, I mean, if you bought the whole thing at 9% value, then we can make a deal. But, I mean, the less than, eh, it's not worth it to me. I'm sorry. That's going to decrease his loyalty. But I don't really know him anyway. <laughs> I 
Don't feel like I, what the, where'd our money go? The market has just collapsed, didn't it? And now I have no freaking money. Oh God, this is what happens when you put all your eggs in one basket too. Things like this happen. And things like this are terrible. <laughs> Let's see, I'm, st I'm tr still trying to keep up with my opponent to see what, what they ended up doing. Did, did she lose money? Probably not. Nope, 16.8. So I'm gonna lose money this turn. I'm not gonna be able to do anything next turn. God, this company has just destroyed me. I'm hoping that it'll be good in the long term, right? That my, my struggles in the beginning will pay off towards the end. But I, I don't I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> I don't know at all. Alright, so I skipped a turn because last turn I literally couldn't make a deal because I only had a thousand dollars, so I figured it wasn't really worth trying to make a deal anyway. Um so we're gonna see we can make a deal with Mrs. Martin again, who already is starting to hate me, I guess, because of my bad negotiating. But we have like 7,000 to work with. My opponent is pretty much running rampant. I kind of hate to even look over there now, because their value is now like 50,000 more than what I have, which is kind of terrible. I don't think Mrs. Martin likes me. This one might work, though, actually. Yeah, okay, it's good. It, it kind of lagged a little bit, so I was a little bit worried. Um, So, all right, that's going to add to our income right now. I don't know how close I am to an upgrade. I really need to cut down on my maintenance costs. But my opponent right now currently sits at a value of 166,000 and is gaining 16,000 per turn. Meanwhile, we're at 110,000, gaining 7,000 per turn. So my opponent is doubling my value, pretty um, is soon to be doubling my value and doubling my wealth right now. So, or doubling my, I guess, income is what I meant to say. So yeah, not exactly a great position. Now, right, I mean, it's a question of, is my opponent really going to take advantage of that? Though? Is my opponent going to start buying shares in other companies, or is my opponent just going to sit there with shares in the one company? Because if that's all, I mean, it's going to take her a while to really get a significant stake in that company. Meanwhile, if I was to, you know, start taking my money that I was getting and invest in another company, then I could literally take that and just do whatever I wanted. Like, I could, I could take over a whole company. This one is a little bit more interesting to me. It's not an entire stake, but it's a 10% uh, 10 raise. It'd give me 79,000, but it's a question of, I don't really know what I would do with this. I don't know what I'd like. I, in terms of Virginia, I kind of have the best possible uh, stock right now, so I'm not really that interested in selling. I kind of hate that you can't be like, I'll think on it. You kind of have to auto decline it, which kind of sucks, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? Not really much for me. <laughs> You know, technically, I said I had the best possible stock option when I when I said what I what I had. I don't know. I feel like maybe if we had gone into a Ceron, if I had sold my shares and jumped in here. But I mean, considering the dividends here, are like what this guy has a stake of forty or four hundred thousand, he's only getting twenty thousand. Hmm, profit margin is is decent. It's it's not good. Like I said, it's an oil refinery, so it's falling off. The profitability isn't exactly as high. So I feel like actually maybe we might be okay. Now there's another company that's a little bit smaller than this one, that also may be an option or a decent option. But they don't. The dividends. Hmm. How are the dividends in comparison? They're right the same, right? So I feel like maybe if we had sold, we could have jumped into this one. This one is favorable to me too. There's a lot of people that I can talk to here. I can't talk to the majority owner yet, but I mean. The market cap is growing at 853,000 versus our company that we have invested in. It's growing at 611,000. So maybe that might be a better choice. If I get another, if I get another um, offer for my shares, I think I might try and sell them. If I can get like 10% more, I think we might sell them, and then we'll jump into a We might jump into that company instead. Uh, it's going to be better for growth, I think. So we'll be able to increase by 700 this turn. Woo! If we can make this deal. Because <laughs> if we can't, then we're not increasing by jack squat. I think this one's going to work this time. Mrs. Parker is finally warming up to me. It's a freaking Christmas miracle. It's like she's been like my worst enemy in this company. Good lord. <laughs> All right. So we got an achievement because we've conducted negotiations now. Wonderful. So I can finally upgrade. So it's a question of early on, there's a couple things we can upgrade. We can upgrade finances, which I was talking about the maintenance costs. Our maintenance costs are currently at 2000 we can go for uh, bookkeeping, which is going to cut down on our taxes. I don't. The only reason I don't use this is because I like being honest. So I usually don't ever upgrade bookkeeping. So I think it would be nice to have psychology too, so I don't need as much influence. Because then I could actually jump over back into that company that my opponent was in. And I could probably try and negotiate with some of those people. But 
right now, right now I'm going to focus on cutting down my expenses. That only gave us like an extra $300, but you know, eventually it's going to be worth it when we, you know, cause eventually I think it's going to be worth it. Um, maybe I don't, I, I can't remember if maintenance, I think maintenance costs do go up the more that you buy shares. Cause it started, yeah, it started out at 2000. It's now 2000 something, but we also cut it down by 15%. So there's that. Um, let's, let's see. My opponent now currently sits at 190,000 in terms of wealth and gaining 20,000 per turn. Like I said, it's a question of if my opponent's going to move. Cause like I said, if my, my opponent might be gaining on me right, or like taking, running away with this right now. But if my opponent doesn't really buy stakes in another company, then I'm not exactly as worried because then they're, they're, they're going to be limited to that company only. And it's going to take them a while before they can really, you know, gain as much profit as I would from taking over an entire company and getting all the profits for myself. Because <laughs> usually most companies are going to be making about maybe four or five hundred K per turn. And if I could take over that company, then I can gain all that for myself and my opponent is, you know, it's worth nothing anymore <laughs> to me. So we're up to 118,000. I had said if I got another offer, I might accept it, but this offer is just insulting to me. How dare you offer me that? I will definitely not take that. You're gonna need to offer me a lot more than that. I, like I said, if somebody offered me 10% more, I think I'd take it. Like if they offered to buy my entire stake uh, and, and offer me 10% more, I think I'd take it. But no one's offering me that, so therefore I'm not selling, keeping what I got. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, so let's see. We're now gaining almost 9,000 per turn, which is good. We're going to continue our streak of investing, all right, into Primeways, which is growing now. The market cap is going up, so it's like 780,000. That's good, because it was at 600 something thousand. So it's nice to see growth there, because eventually, I mean, maybe this might be as good as, good as my opponent's deal that my opponent made. So this guy, we have a 60% chance of making this deal. We're going to increase our profit by like seven hundred dollars, almost eight hundred. I could go up to eight hundred. Let's see if I if I kind of lowball him here a little bit. If he's gonna be if he's gonna accept this, it's kind of lagging, so I couldn't really tell right there. But yeah, that didn't work. Hmm. All right. Let's see if we can talk to Mr. Howard. No, Mr. Howard was the one that literally tried to jump us out of thirty percent, and I'm definitely not doing that again. All right. Actually, this is nice. Eight <laughs> hundred. Yeah, we'll go with. We'll go with Mrs. Martin again. Let's see if she still hates me. We made a deal last turn, so I feel like maybe we can make a deal again. Uh, nope. That's not gonna happen, so nope. Never mind. Never mind, Mrs. Martin. I'm sorry I bothered you. We've got Mrs. Campbell. The relations are good with me, so maybe that might help us make a deal. The chances of this failing are pretty low, too, so that might help also. So we're gonna go, just in case we gotta go up a little bit, plus 8%. I can technically afford that. So I guess we're going to do that. We're going to see. Yep. It looks like this deal is going to happen. Or, okay, right in the middle. I kind of can't really do too much more. I'm definitely not freaking giving you 29%. That's not happening. I can't even really give you 3%. So, I mean, you know, if you don't accept this, then there's really nothing that we can do. We have nothing to really talk about. So, yeah, that's not happening either. All right. So, who's the next lowest person I can talk to? Parker. Let's see what we can do here. Everybody's going to hate me by the time I end up getting any significant stake in this company. Like, that's the way that we're headed right now. <laughs> that That's the way that we're headed. Let's let's try this one. Is this going to work? Looks like it's going to work. I think it's going to work. We might have a deal. There we go. Pleasure doing business with you, Mrs. Parker. Thank you for allowing me to increase my, my very humble, <laughs> very humble stake. We now have point pretty much 6% in this company. Wonderful. Round of applause. Round of applause. We're, we're on the way. We're on our way to complete and total domination, right? <laughs> God help me. <laughs> we, we are getting destroyed right now. It's not even fun. I mean, hope, like I said, hopefully I'll be able to bridge the gap. But right now, it, it's kind of tough. Like, my opponent now has 200,000 in terms of wealth. It's increasing by 25K. So, it's, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. Now, this might be the saving grace that I was just talking about. But the thing is, this is 145k is what we would make, or what we get back off this deal. So we increase our value, but we lose, of course, all of our money. So <laughs> is it really worth it? I don't, I don't know. I said if we if we got 10% more, I'd take it. So I'm kind of going back on my word now. 
but the thing is, is I would have to, I still don't think it would be wise for me to try and go to Illinois. I don't even know if I could talk to that person still. I'd have to check that and see, like I said, because I, I have to auto decline it so I can't really see. So in Illinois, the only person I can talk to in Phenomenon is, I could talk to Miss Riviera now. So I could have accepted that and I could have jumped over here and I could have seen what I could have gotten. So I think that would have been, did my opponent jump up to 32,000 in this turn? 25, okay, so taxes are taking it down. I was about to say, I know I had seen 20 something thousand. I'm like, wait a minute, when did it get to 30? I didn't see that before. <laughs> I did not see that at all. All right, I think we got one more turn and I'm gonna call it. Of course, we're gonna see if we can get ourselves a, a slight, slightly larger stake in prime ways again, because that's literally all we have in Virginia. So we're going to see if we can talk to Miss Martin again, because Miss Martin is usually our... Well, Miss Martin hates me, but it's our best choice in terms of, I guess, sort of manipulation. Not exactly manipulation, but in terms of getting a deal, because her, her, her skills are lower than everybody else, so we're going to be able to negotiate a little bit better with her. Which, actually, this deal is going to work fine. Look at this. That one works fine. Thank you, Mrs. Martin. I appreciate, I appreciate everything that you've done. All right. Now, so now that I know that I could possibly... Well, let's see. I'm making currently my stake is getting me fifteen thousand in terms of dividends, but because I'm paying taxes and maintenance costs, I mean, so I'm, I'm looking. I'm trying to look at that in, in terms of if I went to, if I went to Illinois, my opponent is now moving from Illinois, which is interesting. So they're going to stop with buying in phenomenon. They're probably going to move and buy something else that's going to be even more profitable, which is going to take me to town. But hmm, I'm trying to see. My opponent currently has. 220,000 invested to gain 26,000 in dividends. So right now, my 145,000 would probably get me, what, maybe 18, 15. So I mean, I think I might still be in a decent spot. It's just because right now, they're still gaining more than me. So, and they started out earlier gaining more than me. I want. I wonder what my opponent's gonna buy in Georgia though. That's interesting. Are they gonna start buying into a smaller company? Or are they gonna jump into Rave maybe, or Hallelujah? Hallelujah might be a good choice. I feel like that's where they're going to jump. And I feel like I might need to go down there just to stop my opponent from doing that. But, <laughs> you know, I feel like maybe I should focus on where I'm at. And I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to end it here, guys. And I will see you in the next one.